G'day mates, my name's Nick, I live in Australia, and a warm welcome to my channel CPAP Reviews, where we explore ways to make living with CPAP therapy easier, more enjoyable, and more effective. And today we're diving into a very simple, but very impactful change that will really improve your CPAP comfort. So if you're someone who's struggling, this video is for you. And the change we'll make is switching from a 15 millimeter slimline tube to a 19 millimeter standard tube. Let's start with the basic, shall we? Now CPAP tubes come in a variety of lengths and sizes. However, the most common are the six foot slimline and the six foot standard, 15 millimeter, 19 millimeter. They both have 22 millimeter cuffs and this is so they can fit with any CPAP mask. All right, that's an important point there. These tubes, this one's a Fisher & Paykel, this one's a ResMed tube. You can use this one with a ResMed, you can use this one with a Fisher & Paykel. The only time that varies is if you're using the ResMed Air Mini machine, all right? But any other machine, any other tube, you're fine to use whatever mask you like. Now we're going off on a bit of a tangent there. Now, Slimline, from a marketing point of view, Sure sounds a whole lot better than standard, hey? And it is a little bit smaller, it's a little bit more flexible, a little lighter, and perhaps a little bit easier to manage during sleep. However, there is one big, big problem when it comes to slimline tubes with a smaller diameter, and that is the air velocity. The speed of the air traveling down this tube is so much faster compared with this larger diameter 19 millimeter tube. And that increase in airflow can cause a lot of problems for CPAP users. Nearly all of them think dry nose, throat and mouth, more turbulence, more noise, more mask leaks, dry eyes, stomach pains. The airflow's a bitch, pardon the French, all right? And switching to this larger diameter makes breathing more natural, more comfortable, and can really help solve a lot of those issues caused by the fast air velocity. Now, that being said, and I don't wanna confuse you too much, a common complaint from some CPAP beginners when they're just starting out is they can feel like they're suffocating, like they're drowning, like they're not getting enough air. And in that scenario, if that's you, Slimline's your best option because that increase in velocity, you can really feel that airflow a lot more and it can just uh, help you relax because you can feel the air coming through a lot faster. All right. Now, if you're ready to make the change from your slimline to a standard or a standard to a slimline, whatever it is, then come join me and thousands of other helpful members, CPAP users just like you over at the Sleep HQ Pro community forum. That's my forum, and that's where I share all the cool shit. And in part two, I'll share with you all my detailed airflow measurements from the different tubes. I'll also show you how to adjust your CPAP machine settings when you do make the change. That's really important. And I'll also show you some kick-ass CPAP tube accessories that make sleeping with these things far more enjoyable. Until next time, guys, sleep well, make every moment count, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. If you've got an AirSense 10 or an AirSense 11, ResMed, they stopped making the 19 mil version. You can only now get this as the slimline. Well, that's not true. I'll tell you more about that in a second.